traffic over at McCormick and Cherry Lane is very much backed up on normal, normally, so that's going to get much worse. West Lafayette residents are getting used to a new traffic pattern. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. Thanks for joining us. It's a case of deja vu for many of locals who live along Lindbergh Road. This week, Tippecanoe County closed a stretch of the road between Northwestern Avenue and McCormick Road for the second time in recent history. Crews are building a new bridge there after the last construction project caused that road to sink and become very bumpy. Kristen Mayorano spoke to people who live off that road to see how it's affecting traffic now. Kristen? Jeff and Gina, they closed the road between 8.30 and 9 yesterday morning, and I'm told it didn't have much of an effect during that morning traffic, but for traffic in yesterday afternoon rush hour and this morning, it did have a noticeable difference. One family I spoke with says the consensus among their neighbors seems to be it's a temporary annoyance, but it will be worth it in the long run. Drivers may find themselves making a U-turn while trying to drive down Lindbergh Road in the coming weeks. At least one motorist didn't realize or maybe chose to ignore that this section of the road is closed. But most residents, like the Townsend family, will simply accept that getting around town is going to take a little longer for a while. My work is just down Lindbergh Road. <laughs> Instead of a three-mile round trip, it's now five. Joe and Debbie Townsend's home backs up to Lindbergh, but instead of taking the road straight east to work, both now have a longer, more traffic-ridden drive. So it means we just have to go either 52 or Cherry Lane. Just takes a little longer, but it will be well worth it. Everybody understands. They've been a lot of folks have been through the construction before. They understand the timeline we're talking about and the routes that are, are necessary to uh, get around. West Lafayette City Engineer Dave Buck says he has received some phone calls and emails about the project's effect on traffic. He says so far it hasn't been too bad, but may require officers at some intersections during rush hour in the future. And as a result of the construction, City Bus has changed two of its routes. I spoke with City Bus General Manager Martin Sennett earlier today. He says the company is used to rerouting for construction, and overall the project is a good thing for the community. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.